Hi guys, we are from the Willard Library and we miss you. So we wanted to set up some videos to show you some things that you can make while you're at home. Presently, um, Miss Jo is working on a blanket of her own and I am working on a blanket of my own, which we hope to show you in the future. We're really hoping that when everything falls back into place, um, those of you that signed up for the crocheting class will come to that and we will have our blankets on display. And maybe we could talk Miss Terry into showing some crochet items that she makes because she is excellent at, with crochet. First, I will show you something that Miss Jo started on. Some of you I know have seen this. This is so awesome. Miss Jo is gonna turn this into a blanket. Some of you might know that with the crochet club that um, we were going to have, it was just gonna be a square and then we were gonna put the squares together and form a big blanket and then give back to the community and give that to someone that really needs it. So we really, really, really want um, to have as many people come for that crochet class that we're gonna be having after everything settles down. And if you didn't sign up, but you would still like to come, you most certainly can call and ask for Miss Jo. Miss Jo will put you down. Um, Miss Jo was talking about buying more hooks. I can buy more hooks as well. They're not very expensive. If you wanna pick up your own hook, you can go to Joanne Fabrics, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Hobby Lobby, uh, you could go to Michaels, or you could borrow from somebody. Okay, so let's get started. This is Red Heart Yarn, as you can see. That's a brand name of yarn. And if I turn this, <clears throat> I think Miss Jo might zoom in. It gives you information that you will want to know. This yarn is a medium sized yarn. And this is a pretty good yarn to start out with if you're thinking about crocheting or knitting. And then when you slide over, it gives you information about the number of the hook that's probably best for you to use on this particular yarn. I think this has got a 5.5 millimeter, but you'll notice on this hook, that's Miss Joe's, you can see 6.5. So if you wanna vary your size of hook, you can do that. But if you're a beginner, it's probably better to stay with that size hook that they recommend. If you're a knitter or want to learn how to knit, they give you information on the knitting. And then if you slide over, you will see that this yarn is 100% acrylic. Now, Miss Joe and I recommend that when you wash anything that you make um, with yarn, you wash it on delicate. You could do it by hand or you could do a hand wash, delicate cycle, with cool or cold water and tumble dry low because you don't want to stretch your fabric, your, your yarn out. That would make it really not good. Okay, so let's get going here. So anyway, this is called Stripes and we're gonna show you two things. One thing is if you wanna find your end to your yarn, and you can jump in anytime, Miss Terry, if there's something we're forgetting. Um, sometimes you can just go to the end of your yarn and like if I cut this off, let me give you an example. Let's say, okay, let's say, uh, oh boy, I hope I can find it. Let's say this is just the very beginning, okay? you could find the very tip of your yarn if you just look around and you would just pull it out gently. That's one way to find your yarn. The other way, and I love this, on this Super Saver Red Heart yarn, they even have an end taped for you right here. <laughs> um, and so you could use that, you could just tape it, take this off and then you have another end here. Either way you wanna do it, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pull out some of your yarn. You don't need to pull out too much. And did you see that, Miss Jo? Mm -hmm. I am gonna cut, I'm gonna cut some of this off only because Miss Jo and I noticed that this yarn right here looks like it's not twisted well enough and we think that would be an issue if we were to crochet. So we're gonna get rid of that. You can maybe use that for a different craft or something like that, like God's eye like Miss Jo did once. Okay, so to make a slip knot, I'm gonna show you how to do this. <clears throat> you lay your yarn out and just an FYI, 
there are a lot of YouTube videos that you can look up to show you different ways to make your slip knot. And I know because I was not very good at it. And Miss, Miss Jo had to show me several times, but I like this way really, really well. And like I said, Miss Terry, she's been crocheting for years. How many years, Miss Terry? We don't even want to say, she said. <laughs> She's been crocheting for a long time. So you would go like this, and it kind of looks like the yarn crossed their legs, and then you press down on where it's crossed, like that. Now you see this, this part right here? That's the tail. You don't want to pinch that. You want to leave that tail alone. You pick this up, whoops, and you go, one second. You can see that I'm having difficulty. And you go like this, and then you reach over and you pinch this one. You see how I did that? So if I back it up, and if I do it one more time, and you can jump in any time, Miss Terry, you're gonna cross it over like that. Press down on that so your yarn stays in place. Here's your tail, you're not gonna mess with that tail. You're gonna open up this loop. I use two fingers. And then I'm going to pinch this. And then you're going to hold on to your tail and just pull down. And do you see how the slip knot went? And that's the easiest way to get going. So I am going to tighten this up a little bit. And you see how I can shrink the size of my loop? And then I want to put my hook in. Now there's different ways you can hold your hook. This is the way I hold my hook. And I think, Miss Jo, do you hold your hook like this? Miss yes. Jo does. Yes, she does. And then you go like this. And you don't have to make it a very tight loop. Do you see how that looks? Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and start what's called like our foundation chain because it's the beginning of our square. So I'm gonna slide this down here. And to be honest with you, it was a little tricky for me in the beginning. Um, and Miss Joe and I don't want you to freak out. If you don't get it the first, second, or third time, don't worry about it. You learn by doing, and so we don't want you to get frustrated. Okay, do you see how, right? You see how I have this over my finger? Okay. And I know there's other ways that you can hold it, but this is the easiest way for me and Miss Joe. So I'm going to go like this. I'm gonna put my hook under and I'm gonna gently hold on and I'm going to come on now slip pull it, through. it through so that gives you one stitch then I'm going to hook under you see how I'm turning my hook I'm gonna go through and there we go. Do you see our little chain that we have going? Mm -hmm. That's all there is to that. So we can go, I don't know how many chains you want, Miss Jo. Do about 10? Yeah, 10. Okay, we're gonna do 10. So I'll go real slow. Speaking of the number 10, it took me about 10 times to learn how to chain yeah. my stuff. So yeah, I totally get it. It's until you get the hang of it, it can be a little frustrating and you might not look like the way your chain looks, but we promise you we'll help you for sure. And anybody else here that crochets like Miss Barb, she knits. So we're hoping maybe we can do a video on knitting, but we'll help you and you will get the hang of it. So I go under and I pull through and you see where my fingers are gently holding onto my chain and I pull through. So if I just stop for a minute and I count, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have five chain stitches and they're single stitches. Okay, so very gently, I go under, I hold gently on the bottom and I pull through that six. Hook, I go under my yarn, gently hold, pull through. There's seven, and I'm gonna pull a little bit on this part just to tighten up a teeny bit. If you make it too tight, then you can't get your hook through. What did I say, that was seven, so uh -huh. this is eight. 
and nine and ten. And then you can see the chains. Okay, then we've gotten to our tenth. So what we want to do is we have to turn our yarn. So we're just going to turn and we're going to work our way backwards. So, whoops, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to go, i got to find my first chain. Okay, I'm going to go into my first chain, right like that. Take my first chain, go through, grab this, pull it through that way. Now I have two there, right? And I'm going to go under my yarn and I'm going to pull through both of those. And then I get to start working backwards. So here's my chain going through, pulling through my chain. Now I have two here. Watch what I do. Holding gently onto my chain underneath. Hey, down there. <laughs> And then I'm going to pull through. And let me do a couple more here. Pull through. I'm gonna do it. Pull through two. Okay, now I can show you them better. So what you see is, can you see what my chain is starting to do? Can you see how that works? And that's all we're going to be doing until we make a square. And then after that, we'll be able to uh, crochet them together to make one big blanket. Now, the squares that we make are probably going to be larger. I would guess maybe this is only 10. We'll probably do 20 to 25 in a chain. So your square will be about that, about, well, it'll be about maybe this long mm -hmm. and probably about that wide, you think, Miss Jo? Yep. Okay. So, remember, when everything's said and done, and the library's open, and everybody's healthy and 100%, um, be looking, because Miss Jo is going to be posting when we're going to start the crochet group, um, and we'll have plenty of yarn and hooks for you to use, and if you want to sign up and you didn't get the chance to sign up, but this looks like something that you'd really like to try to do, get in touch with um, Miss Jo. Um, you could even, you could... Well, you could re even respond to this video if you wanted and let Miss Jo know and she will put you on the list. And that way we'll know if we have to go out and buy more yarn and more hooks. So thanks for joining us for this video and watch out for more.